We are recording. Hello, I'm Paul Vanuk from Recording Magazine. In our last video review, we took a look at analog summing with the Dangerous Music 2Bus XT. In this video, we're going to continue our look at Dangerous Music as we dig into the ins and outs of the Dangerous Music D-Box Plus. As I pointed out in the 2Bus XT review, Dangerous Music is one of the originators of analog summing, having released the first commercially available analog summing unit back in 1999. In addition to the company's well-respected audio processors and analog and digital converters, Dangerous was also a forerunner in standalone monitor controllers. This includes the now discontinued monitor, the still available and popular Monitor ST with its futuristic sci-fi looking desktop controller and the portable Dangerous Music source. Taking a step back to 2006, Dangerous Music combined three of the company's core technologies together with the release of the original D-Box. The D-Box offered eight channels of analog summing, full-fledged monitor control, and digital to analog conversion in a single 1U 19 inch enclosure. In 2019, the D-Box was replaced by the updated and significantly expanded D-Box Plus, which we reviewed in our September 2019 issue. A bit of a disclaimer and a spoiler. I was so impressed by the D-Box Plus that shortly after the review, I purchased one of my own and it's been the rock solid centerpiece of my studio for the past five years. To learn more about what the D-Box Plus does, let's go back to the original Silverface unit. As a monitor controller, the original D-Box could switch between stereo analog, combined analog summing, and a pair of digital inputs over AES. The selected source could be sent to one of two speaker outputs, and you also got additional monitor controller functions such as built-in talkback and a pair of front-located headphone outs. Summing features included a summed output trim and stereo panning on channels 7 and 8. Moving to the D-Box Plus, it was and is a complete redesign of the original from the ground up, with a host of new functions, all in greater sonic detail. Now let's take a look at the features of the D-Box Plus. Like the original, you get a pair of quarter-inch high-gain headphone outputs. In addition to dedicated level controls, each one is fed independently from the phones and control room monitoring sections, which we'll get to in a moment. Each headphone channel also includes a secondary set of quarter-inch TRS outputs on the rear of the unit. This can be used as a secondary headphone out or connected to an external headphone distribution amp. TalkBack offers a small front-side microphone, a dedicated level control, and a small backlit button that can be set to momentary or latching. One of the biggest differences between the D-Box and the D-Box Plus is the expanded routing sections with a choice of five stereo sources each. You get a choice of stereo analog, the summing mix, built-in dedicated Bluetooth audio, and digital over USB or via AES SPDIF, each with its own dedicated input on the back. These sources can be selected individually or in combination depending on your needs. While there isn't a dedicated master mute button on the D-Box Plus, the task is easily accomplished by toggling the selected source or destination off. This can also be done section by section, which allows you to create a dedicated talkback path as well. For destination, the D-Box Plus offers a choice of three pairs of stereo speaker outputs by way of balanced TRS outputs on the back. Each one is selectable individually or in combination, both momentary or latching. Additionally, speaker output three can be sent to a subwoofer and assigned to a specific monitor pair that engages automatically when that pair is activated. The output level of speaker one is fixed, while speakers two and three are adjustable from a pair of recessed trim pots. This allows for quick and easy level matching of your various monitor sets. There's also a mono monitoring button, which can be linked to any of the speaker outputs when using a single mono check speaker or a sub. 
The master level is handled by an advanced and beautifully designed true rotary encoder with 21 LEDs. It features a push button audio dimmer with a user selectable reference level, and this encoder also performs secondary programming functions. The DBox Plus rotary encoder also has a third function. A quick double press sets the volume to a user selected reference level. This is helpful to avoid mixing and listening too loud. It's also handy when editing audio for film and video and mastering. There's also an additional pair of left and right lineouts that can take a direct feed from the headphone or control room sections. This can be sent to a secondary recording device, a live room monitoring setup, a video feed, or any place you need an additional audio output. I send mine to an additional dedicated headphone amp. This is a good place to mention that all of the optional button configuration and internal setup happen through front panel button combinations in the control room section or on your smartphone or tablet over wireless Bluetooth. While Bluetooth is becoming more and more common on audio interfaces and monitor controllers, the D-Box Plus was one of the first to offer this option five years ago, and here it's implemented in two different ways. The first is Bluetooth audio, which can be streamed from your smartphone, tablet, or a Bluetooth equipped computer. The second is Bluetooth control, which allows you to use your smart device or computer as a wireless remote control for the D-Box Plus to select speakers, change the level, engage the talkback, and even set up the unit's internal functions. The final feature on the D-Box Plus is the eight channel analog summing section. I covered the literal ins, outs, and concepts of analog summing pretty deeply in the 2Bus XT video, so I'm not going to get too deep into it here. The 8 channel summing section of the D-Box Plus provides eight small green signal LEDs for each channel and a master trim control. The channels are set up as four stereo pairs with a mono button that sets inputs 7 and 8 to fixed centered mono. The mono routing is best suited to signals like bass guitar, kick drum, or even lead vocal that you want to be powerfully front and center in your mix. The summing channels are routed into the unit on an 8-channel DB25 cable, along with a pair of quarter-inch TRS outputs to send the combined summing signal back to your DAW, recording device, or expand into one of the company's 2Bus Plus or 2Bus XT units for an even higher channel count. The goal of analog summing is to break out of the digital summing domain in your DAW and impart the headroom, width, and analog tone traditionally found in a large format analog console to your recordings. As mentioned, I've been using the Dangerous Music D-Box Plus in my studio for the past five years where it handles the tasks of sending various sources to my main and check speakers. Typically, I send my two-track DAW mixes into the analog inputs while using the unit as a two-channel USB interface digitally when playing back reference mixes from my media player apps. It should be noted that while the conversion in the D-Box Plus is not identical to the company's industry-leading Convert 2, reviewed in the October 2018 issue, it lives in the same family and utilizes the same circuit architecture and sonics as all dangerous audio converters. The Bluetooth implementation is one of my favorite features. First, it allows clients to easily stream mixes from their computers and devices without needing to fish for adapters and cables to connect said devices to my system. I also regularly use the remote volume and switching, which allows me to make source and speaker comparisons without needing to move out of the listening sweet spot. What I appreciate the most about the D-Box Plus is how easily it integrates into a modern studio setup. I was initially concerned that the unit only offers a single stereo analog input, as a second would be handy for cue mixes and such. However, you can effectively cheat this by assigning a stereo cue mix to two channels of the analog summing mixer when tracking, especially if you have the unit connected to a patch bay. Two other concerns that I noted in my initial review are one, I wish the unit had the ability to mute the left or right speaker when listening in mono. However, to be fair, this feature isn't always found on every monitor controller, so it's much more of a personal wish than a design flaw. The last thing to be aware of is that the unit's output does not use any relays. This means that when you're turning off your system, you should power off your monitors first and then the D-Box. Otherwise, you could end up sending a loud low thump into your monitors. 
Finally, I want to give you an example of the analog summing capabilities of the unit. So here's a small loop of a mix that was both summed and rendered digitally in the computer, and the same mix summed analog in the DBox Plus. Hey, hey. Shadows dance around the fire, smoke takes us a little higher, pointing out a shooting star. Feelings we just can't translate, feel becomes the Milky Way, lying on the hood of my car. Shadows dance around the fire, smoke takes us a little higher, pointing out a shooting star. Feelings we just can't translate Feel becomes the Milky Way Lying on the hood of my car I hope you enjoyed this look at the Dangerous Music D-Box Plus. If you'd like to learn more about any of the other converter, summing, or monitor controller options in the Dangerous Music line, stop by DangerousMusic.com for more. Also, be sure to check out my initial thoughts and impressions in the September 2019 issue of Recording Magazine. If you like this video review, be sure to give us the thumbs up below or leave a comment. And better yet, subscribe to Recording's YouTube page for future video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Then, stop by recordingmag.com for the best in all things recording, where you can subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 37th year. We'll see you soon.